What do you have in mind? Get down! Thrilling enough for you, Walter? Any calls in his phone records to this address? No, but we could check his bank records for payments. Ah, uh, we'd need a warrant for that. I'd rather just start knocking on doors. No, we're gonna need more people. You'll have to clear that with Ed. Okay, everybody, outside, outside! Come on! It's not a drill. Oh, God, Jane, why'd you do that? Yeah, that's the way. I'll try and talk to her. You have done enough talking! Hi. down face down on the street I've heard from a couple of reliable sources that you and Kirby Hines were having an affair some kind of sexual relationship that's a damn lie are you sure Roddy Lying to a CBI agent is a very serious offense. I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, really? Well, that says it all. I'm ex-Army. Marine Corps suck eggs. But hey, no point in arguing over the phone. We'll sort this out when I get out to your location. Semper Fi, sissy britches. He's running! Saying there's no seasons in California. Well, that looks like fall. Now it looks like you need a doctor. I am kind of dizzy. I found it in Doyle Murphy's lower intestine. My supposition is that he swallowed it in an attempt to get a larger share of the loot before it was divided with any partners. You know, I guess Murphy misread that situation, huh? Do you find anything else surprising in there other than that? Just that. Oh! Oh! What the hell was that? Uh, I, um, uh, had a hunch that it was a fake. I guess I'm wrong about that. Oh, uh, yeah? Where is it? Well, the good news is, it's not out there, so it's in here somewhere. I'll find it. Anyone see a little, uh... You tweaked the assistant district attorney's nose in this very room. <laughs> Speaking of yourself in the third person, Mark, you, you gotta admit, it sounds a little silly. Yes, I tweaked your nose. Your Honor, we're done here. Mr. Jane admits the crime. But in my defense, you are being very annoying. Mr. Jane, you're out of order. You're out of order. You're out of order. This whole trial's out of order. Oh, come on. You gotta admit, you walked right into that one. 
Hey, what's it, what's what's his name? Franklin. Cool it, boy. May I? I have a way with dogs. Yeah, hey, Franklin. How are no, you? That, that was like that. Oh, yeah, you're a good boy. You... I thought you said you had a way with dogs. You wanted freedom. Franklin, heal! Keep up, Lisbon! Franklin! Seriously? Is he dead? Yeah. You know, I should applaud your bravery, but I gotta say, practically speaking, I, I, what were you thinking? You could have killed me. I'm sorry. I got mad. I didn't know what I was thinking. That was some good shooting, though. That leg shot that took him down is very precise. I was aiming for his head. Oh, fantastic. Operator. Hi. Uh, we need Dr. Watson in the OR stat. Which room, sir? Uh, three. Paging him now. Ah, you must be patient, Siberia. No movement. No. What kind of diamond is it? Uh, it's big. It's two or three carats, I think. <laughs> Why would he carry a diamond like that around with him? Well, that's a good question, Jeff. Uh, perhaps Mr. Dublin was trying to be prepared for any circumstance. You know, it's, it's understandable, isn't it? I mean, he's a, had a tough time. Ask just one more question. I see a trap. Very clever. Mm. Trap for who? Guess. Just tell me. Guess. You know what? Screw you. You crossed the line already, and now you're playing guessing games with me? No, it's just that I'm not sure myself. I have a plan, though. Oh, sheep, Deb. You are still trying to punish me for lying to you. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. Sorry. You want it off this case? You're off. You can take a nap in your thinking room. We'll solve this case without you the right way. With good, solid detective work. So I take it you don't want to hear my plan. No, I don't want to hear your plan. Sheep dip your plan. Damn it to hell. Oh, language, please. Bertram is on Hightower's back. She's on mine. It's all catch the caveman, catch the caveman. I hate serial killers. Caveman didn't kill Fernando and Valerie. Trust me. Well, how can you be so sure? Because I wrote the letter from the caveman. What did you just say? I wrote the letter from the caveman. I heard you the first time. Why didn't you ask me to say it again? It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to stir things up. Just, you know, give Montague a little prod. What was that about? Well, it was just business. What's that? This. This is my speeding ticket that I refuse to pay. Well, I'm not paying it. Well, I guess no one's going pay it. I'll get work from the pan. I have my ways. It's on your desk. They made what do you say? They made the tigers. There's still one on the loose. We'll meet you back at the CBI. Okay. You are a cool customer. You think you can outrun a tiger? I don't have to. Just have to run faster than you. You 
You may want to cover your ears. Helen has been healed. Ma'am? Ma'am! Marcus, please, be my guest after you. Least I could do. to be blunt, Mr. K, but you're just... That's... Uh, uh oh. Now you're stealing an ambulance. No, no, I'm just admiring the interior. Wicked GPS. You abused a corpse to get a confession. Used. Used a corpse. There's no ab. I'm appalled. I'm... I don't know what to say. Listen, don't be one of the stupid ones. You don't understand. I don't have a choice. Look what happened to Sutton. You want that to happen to you? Let it be, Barnes. Oh, you're a nasty piece of work, aren't you? Huh? I knew that from the moment I saw you, but I didn't think you'd stoop so low to threaten young girls. I've had enough of you. Oh, hang on. No, no. Whoa, whoa. That's not fair. Drop the weapon, put your hands in the air where I can see them. Huh? A good thing for you, you're a terrible liar. It's all about the eye contact. That close. Huh? Stop it. Really? Yeah, put it down. I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> no. We don't know all the details as yet, but we will know very soon. <sighs> Where is she? She's hidden in your grandmother's casket. It's quite clever, actually. It's, it's one place you wouldn't look for a body. Other than the obvious exception, of course. Are you playing some sort of demented joke? I wish I could say I was, but uh, they were both small women. They could fit comfortably together in this box. The only way we can tell for sure is if we uh... well, we're going to have to take a quick peek. Jane says that Abby Fitzwilliam's body is in the casket. Oh, my God. Have you gone completely insane? No, I don't think so. There we go. Elena, are you sure you want to do this? Just get it over with. What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Zen malarkey. I don't expect it's much to look at, a simple bed or a thing or... Nope. 